We have running back Justin Johnson. Questions for Justin? So Justin, it felt like just a minute ago you, the running backs were the young guys in the building, and now all of a sudden you guys are a lot of the veterans and more experienced. But does it feel different? And how do you guys take the leadership role with that? Uh, yeah, we definitely have a lot more responsibility with the offense because uh, we're definitely some playmakers on the side of the ball, and we show improved that last year. And we added some new additions with Jaheim White, DJ Oliver, and uh, Judah Price, and they've been productive this whole fall camp and throughout the throughout the whole process. So I feel like everybody's been taking been taking the responsibility really good. And yourself, what have you concentrated on during camp? Is there one area you really want to get better at? Uh, yeah, of course. I'll say my pass pro, just improving pass pro at all times because being running backs, everyone already knows we can run the ball. We, we're special with the ball in our hands, but it's, it's about what you can do like away from the ball. And that is pass pro for me, just helping the quarterback spring uh, balls to the wide receivers and uh, help them get downfield and win downfield. So pass pro is definitely a, a hot topic for me this, this fall camp. Have the Jets got been as offensive coordinator? So you guys knew him really well, but now he's, he's uh, a charge for everybody. Yeah, uh, Coach Scott's been amazing. Uh, offensive coordinator, he's uh, very creative with a big imagination. So he is coming up with some stuff, man. We ha we got a lot of good plays and a lot of trick plays, and he's putting a lot of 21 personnel. We're running the game at the same time, and we're interchangeable, and uh, he's making plays for the quarterbacks and all our receivers. So he's been doing a good job at that and also being a running back coach as well. Not that you guys didn't play with Garrett last year, but now that you guys are going to definitely have a mobile quarterback, whoever it is, 100% of the time. How does that change, you know, the, the offense and running back responsibilities? Um, it doesn't really change much. It just, it just helps us. It gives us an advantage, you know. Uh, in the past, we haven't had many mobile quarterbacks, but now we do. So defense is going to have to play honest, and uh, they're going to have to account for us and uh, the quarterbacks as well. How's that, how's that different? Because, um, you know, before you would run not option plays, but kind of the same action. Mm -hmm. Now if there's an actual chance the quarterback might keep it, how, how does that help you guys? Uh, that just helps us. It makes the defense play honest, you know. If they know we don't have a mobile quarterback, they'll just mesh, uh, mesh charge us the whole time and uh, they'll tackle us. But now they have to kind of like hesitate and wait a little bit, see if uh, Garrett's going to keep the ball or not. So, you know, it opens up for us. There's a lot to – early in the spring, there's a lot to talk about making you guys more versatile so you, you can play multiple running backs. Mm -hmm. How's your – Uh, so receiving game is awesome. Uh, we're catching the ball out of the backfield. We're coming out the wide out, slot, all types of things. Uh, so it's, 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 it's good. It's real good. Very versatile. Did you have to pick that up? Uh, it's pretty natural for me. I, uh, I have some wide receiver skills a little bit my whole life, especially in high school. I uh, had some plays where I would go out to wide out a little bit, you know, and now I'm very comfortable with it. And so is everyone else in the room. So, like I said, we're very interchangeable, which helps us a lot. Uh, last year boosted my confidence a lot. It was really my first real action to see the uh, the field. So now I'm kind of knowing what I'm knowing what I'm looking for, knowing what I'm doing a little bit. Like I said, I consider myself a vet, a lot more confident, and uh, just the game slowed down a lot for me with last year. So this year's I'm expecting to have a big year. What, what, does, what does confidence do? I mean, what, what, explain uh, what goes on that uh, losing doubt in your mind. Yeah, uh, confidence is a huge factor. You know, the more confidence you have. The faster you're going to play, the better you're going to play, the better you're going to feel, you know. And that's just how I feel. I'm more confident about my game, and I, I know what we're going to do this year. What's the difference between confidence and cockiness? Uh, I say the difference between confidence and cockiness is cockiness is kind of just saying you're about this, you're about that, but you can't back it up. Confidence is saying you're about this, you're about that, and you go show that you're about that. Right. Yeah, I definitely say we're we're a confident group. Everyone is confident that they're going to succeed this year, especially because of, because of last year. You know, Jalen had a big game against Oklahoma State. CJ had a big season. I had a big season. And uh, with the additions with Ja and DJ, they're coming along real well. You know, they're uh, asking questions, and we're showing them the way, and they're uh, they're producing. So it's all good. We've heard a ton about Jaheim. What, what what do you like about him? His speed. He's fast. <laughs> He's really fast. He's also shifty, and uh, Jaheim's special. He's going to be special with the ball in his hands, and he's going to be a special player. I like Jaheim a lot. He's uh, he's taking a lot away from all of us in the room, and he just picks and chooses what he needs, and he uses it to the best of his ability. A lot is made of Jaheim and DJ 
learning from you more experienced backs. What's something that maybe you've learned from them actually that maybe you didn't know or you're actually incorporating in your game when you watch them? Um, from them, I'd say mainly Jaheim because he's fast. He, he's really shifty. So I look at some of his moves that he makes and how he makes people miss, and I kind of I, I kind of use that in my in my library as well, library moves as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're not, you know, a small guy. Do you, do you guys make business decisions? <laughs> you know, force them to, to do something like that. Oh yeah, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm more of a balance. You know, I can make people miss, and I can also make people make a business decisions depending on how I'm coming. You know, if they see me coming full steam ahead, they're gonna think twice. <laughs> because it's a lot deeper room. Is that something that's hard to get used to? Do you have to talk to even the younger guys about you're not going to get 30 touches like you're used to? Uh, no, it's actually, surprisingly, we're all getting along really well. And uh, it's really competitive back there. But at the same time, like I said, we're all interchangeable. So we're all getting the same amount of time. Uh, kind of how last year went, he kind of like went with the hot hand, you know. Everyone's going to have their game. It just depends on who's, who's going good that game, you know. Or even double it, sort of that though. I'd imagine a benefit would be maybe that you're always fresh, but then some running backs need a few carries to get into game rhythm before they really get going. Right. Is that kind of the, the difference of the two, the positive and negative? Of it? Uh, yeah, there's positive and negatives, but it's more positive and negative. And uh, like I said, you're going to be fresh. It's a long season. And last year, we kind of had a, a taste of that. You know, it was a long season. A few of us got beat up, and uh, we were down on numbers in the room. But this year, we're going to be fully prepared for that. Do you take satisfaction from a great block, from a great assignment there, just like you would a 15 or 20 yard run, even though you know that's not the thing a lot of fans may look at? Yes, sir. I uh, take great satisfaction in it. Uh, I see my favorite thing is just recognizing it. Since I had trouble with that my freshman year, as of right now, I'm just I'm picking it up on the fly, and I'm recognizing all the disguises and this and then the third. I'm picking it up really well, so it's very, very satisfying for me. is and how does your body feel as you get to the end of the camp uh, like coach Scott said right now my body's going to feel the best it's going to feel throughout the whole season so uh, I'm pretty I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good but yeah it's a grind we've been grinding for about three weeks in fall camp and uh, right now we got a few people banged up but we're getting them back f to full health and uh, we're going to be ready for Penn State week one Uh, yes, I definitely seen some separation come along with some positions on the on the team. Some people are starting to uh, are starting to spurt, and some people are starting to uh, get exposed. It's just the way it goes, you know. How's this camp been different for you? I mean, really, kind of having an established role in the offense instead of just being, you know, kind of a depth guy. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been a lot different for me. People are uh, people are looking up to me and uh, expect me to make plays now. So I have to be that guy every day. I have to show up every day, ready to work, ready to compete. Uh, Got to have the same energy every day. And uh, people are looking up to me and uh, counting on me. So I know I'm a, I'm a big factor on this team. And I'm ready for the job, ready for the role. Are there any behind this offensive line? The offensive line is amazing. It's amazing. The holes are huge. They're getting moving up front. And those guys are not to be messed with. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anything else for Justin? Okay. All right, thank you guys.